Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to another day of Amy All April. I'm super excited for today's video because I asked my patrons on Patreon what three looks video they would wanna see first between the Menagerie Flight Club, the Adeptin Hydrin, and the new Glaminatrix U Beauty Palette, and the U Beauty Palette one. So that is what we are playing with today. It is such a stunning palette. I have a first impression with live swatches up on my channel already. If you're curious to check that out, I'll leave it in the cards here. But today we're just gonna be playing around with it, doing three different looks. I did a very like soft purple, kind of half colorful, half neutral look, a look focused on this multi-chrome right here, going in with more of the blues, and then also the look today, which is just like a very like fiery, warm, delicious <laughs> look. I don't even know how to describe it, but I had so much fun playing with this palette. So if you wanna see all three looks, let's just go ahead and jump right on in. Okay, so I already primed my eyes today with the Juvia's Place Eye Primer in the shade 1, and I really want to do a very purple look today, so I'm going to start off with this color right here called it She'll Be Right, and I'm just going to throw that through my entire crease. It's like a really beautiful, soft mauve. Let me go in with a little bit more. I'm kind of hoping to get out the door in like the next 20 minutes. So I'm gonna try not to take forever with this look and just make it pretty simplistic, but I think it's still gonna turn out really pretty. I'm also gonna take that shade along my entire lower lash line. Just to add a little bit of depth, I'm gonna go into this brown right here called Stitch Up. You could go into the navy Fair Dinkum 2 for this step, and I think that would be really pretty. I'm just gonna add just a touch. Then just going back in with my previous brush and lightly blending that out. Also going to take a touch of stitch up along the lower lash line, just on the outer third. Now for the part I'm the most excited about, we're going to go into the shimmers. I'm going to start off with this shade right here called Flaming Gala, and I'm going to use it on my inner corner. I have been so excited to use this shade since I first swatched it. Oh, that's so pretty. It has such a vibrant pink shift to it. All right, now I'm gonna take this purple right here called Chalkers, another shade I could not wait to get on my eyes. I'm just gonna pick up a little tiny bit on my finger and pop that all over the lid. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, ma'am. Stunning. Okay. I feel like that was so simple to do, but it looks so pretty. Okay, I'm trying to decide what to do for my waterline. I think I'm gonna go into a pop of lavender. This is the Pastel Dream Auto Eyeliner from LA Girl in the shade Lavender, and I'm just gonna throw that in my waterline. I love a pastel liner moment. And then for mascara, I'm gonna start off with the We Make Up More Volume Mascara, and then I'm gonna go over it with a coat of the Sense Waterproof Mascara just to help it last a little longer since I know I'm gonna be out in the heat. Okay, for blush today, I'm gonna go into the Flower Beauty Powder Blush in the shade Sweet Pea, which is just a really beautiful mauve. I feel like this blush is pretty old and I don't use it enough, so. Kinda goes along with the eye look today. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna go into the Overtime Samantha March Life's a Draft palette, and I'm going to use the shade Dream Chaser. Absolutely love that highlighter. I feel like I love this look in general. It just looks super pretty. Hmm. And then for lips, I'm just gonna throw on the Fenty Beauty Sweet Mouth Gloss Balm. All right, so this is the first look complete. I love how it turned out. I feel like it's so simple, but so pretty at the same time. Just like that lavender metallic all over the lid, the pop of pink sparkliness on the inner corner. Like it's just my kind of look. I feel like this is perfectly my vibes because it has like those interesting textures. It has an iridescent multi-chrome. It's like a mixture of color and neutral. So yeah, I love this one. Now let's go ahead and jump on into the second look. I went ahead and primed my eyes with the Ofra Gel Eye Primer. And today I'm thinking I'm gonna focus on like this little section right here, these matte shades, this all over the lid, and then probably this lighter blue on the inner corner. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with Bloody Oath first. And I'm gonna pack that 
through my entire crease and then just lightly blending upwards. I feel like that's building up and blending out really, really pretty. Go into the navy fair dinkum and I'm gonna start that off on the outer V. Just packing it on to add some depth. I feel like it's kind of not wanting to stick a little bit. Do you see that? I wonder if it's this primer that it's not wanting to stick to as much because I didn't have this issue the first time I used it. It's definitely more of a powdery shadow, so I'm not surprised that it's not wanting to stick the absolute best. But hopefully I can make it work. It's gonna blend very, very gently. Go back in with a little bit more. Also I'm gonna take that shade along the lower lash line about a third of the way in with my pencil brush. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Straya and I'm gonna pop that on my inner corner. Looks super, super pretty. I bet with this matte work, it would be really beautiful all over the lid as well. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Old Mate and I'm gonna start off by using that on my lower lash line with my pencil brush. Bring it on the middle. Then I'm also gonna take that shade on my finger and just pop it on the entire lid. That is so stunning. You see the shift there? Oh, that's so pretty. For my waterline, I'm gonna go into the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in the shade Fresh. I feel like it kind of matches the inner corner. Gonna throw on some mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, for blush, I'm gonna go into the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Rosa Romantica. I'm wanting to add like a little bit of color to my cheeks, but not anything too much. For highlighter, I pulled out one that I haven't used in a hot minute. I actually forgot that I owned until the other day I was going through my highlighters I saw and I was like, oh yeah, I have that. This is the Linda Halberg Infinity Highlighter. It's kind of like a soft gold shade. I don't even remember how I feel about it, honestly. Go ahead and throw that on the tops of my cheekbones. I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh yeah, that's why I forgot about it. Like there's nothing wrong with it, but it just doesn't look magical. Looks a little bit textured. I'm gonna go into the Lime Crime Wet Cherry Gloss in the shade Naked Cherry. All right, so this is the finished second look. I love how it turned out and I feel like it's mostly because of the lid shade. It's just so pretty, it's super shifty. It's just like my favorite kind of shade. I feel like the matte um, navy on the outer V doesn't look terrible considering I had a little bit of issues with it but I definitely need to play with that more before I can give a full review since it was a little bit suspicious so now let's go ahead and jump on into the third look I already went ahead and primed my eyes with the Juvia's Place eye primer again just because I feel like it's worked really well with this palette so far and I'm thinking I want to focus on the warm tones and use this multi-chrome all over the lid today so I'm gonna start off with the matte yellow called Struth and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. Just gonna start lightly blending it out and then just building it up a little bit right in the crease. And then I'm also gonna pack that shade along my entire lower lash line, keeping it nice and pigmented. I'm gonna go into the red Budgie Smugglers and I'm gonna pop that in my outer V. I might bring it into the crease a little bit, not all the way, maybe about halfway, and then blend it out, blending pretty nicely, and then I'm just gonna build it up a little bit. I'm gonna go back into my previous brush and just use that to help blend it out because I don't wanna bring the red too high or get it all over. I just want it to be a little bit softer. Take just a tiny little touch of Budgie Smugglers and connect to the lower lash line. And then I'm really curious to try this and see if it's gonna work out. I'm gonna go into the shade Stitch Up with my pencil brush on my outer V just to add a little bit more depth to this look. Just cause I had some issues with the mattes in the last look. So I wanna kind of use another one and see how it works and blends out. I think these mattes just might be better with a more tacky primer. Kind of shaping it out and then I'll go in with my blending brush. 
I'm actually gonna take whatever's left over on my pencil brush and just throw that on the outer third of the lower lash line as well. But I feel like that looks pretty good and it blended out well. Then again, just using the brush that I used with the yellow. Okay, now that we have the matte work done, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the shade Whoop Whoop. So I'm picking that up and I'm actually gonna spray it just to make it a little bit more intense. I'm gonna pop that on the front of the lower lash line. So pretty. I'm gonna go into the shade Flaming Gala for the inner corner. And again, I'm just gonna spray it. It looks beautiful without being sprayed, but I just was curious. Oh wow, okay, that's intense. I love it. <laughs> now, before we go into the multi-chrome good day, I want to add a glitter primer first just because that one felt a little bit more chunky when I originally swatched it. So I'm gonna use the NYX glitter primer, which I don't know where I put. I don't know why I ever put this back in the drawer, but I inevitably always end up pulling it back out, but I just put a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm gonna use a brush to spread that all over my lid. I'm like excited, but also nervous because I really wanna love this. So I'm just picking up a little bit and we're gonna tap it on. Ooh. Okay, I see you. That is beautiful beyond words honestly actually got almost no fallout at all which i'm impressed with because it is so sparkly and intense so i love it so so much i'm gonna finish off with the appeal gel liner in the shade deep taupe throw on some mascara and i'll be right back Okay, so for the cheeks to finish off this look, I'm really excited because I'm going to start with the Heaven's Glow Faded Clementine Blush from M Cosmetics, which is just like a really beautiful glowy orange blush. I'll throw that on. I feel like anytime I do a warm look, this just complements it so well. For highlighter, I thought something that would kind of match like the vibes of the lid shade is the Kristen Lee Cosmetics Birthday Bash Highlighter. It has like a really beautiful, warm glow to it. I feel like you can't tell from the pan at all. It's a multi-chrome, but I, I see a vision. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that on the tops of my cheekbones. So for lips, I already have the LYS Glossy Lip Oil on, which I think looks really pretty in itself, but I'm just gonna throw on top of that a little bit of the Tower 28 Lip Gloss in the shade Oat. All right, so this is the finished third look. I love how it turned out. I think that this is actually my favorite of today's video. I just feel like the multi-chrome on the lid is so beautiful. It's such a stunning texture. The inner corner, the matte work, like it all just looks super, super pretty. It's not on the palette, not on me, but I just love how it turned out. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.